Good morning all. Thank you for coming. It was a really short notice because flats never works for anybody, right? It's a <laughs> it was a very unfortunate event, but uh, I really appreciate between your very busy schedule you made this time for us to join and discuss the thing that what but what has happened in Kerala. So thank you so much to begin with. So um, the topic of today's discussion is the compassionate heart of Kerala's fishermen, motivational life experience during Kerala's unprecedented flood lessons learned. So, so the discussion would be around that. Uh, this is to showcase what has happened in Kerala and how people coped with that and what lessons we could okay, infer from it um, and how we could be prepared more you know, in a better way in the future. So we have very eminent personalities with us uh, to serve as the panelists in the discussion. So to start with uh, Mr. Pierre Niemi, gentleman here. So he's senior member of Swedish Parliament, and we are especially uh, thankful to you to come today. Uh, Professor Chokswe, professor at uh, Peace and Conflict uh, Research Department, and uh, he, has, he is the UNESCO chair for International Water Cooperation and the Director of Research School of International Water Cooperation at Uppsala University. Then we have Professor Giuliano Di Baldasser. So he's the Director of Department of, no, he is the Director of CNDS, Center for Natural Disaster Management. <laughs> yes. Right. And then uh, you are from the Department of Earth Sciences, Program for Air, Water and Landscape Sciences, uh, Hydrology, then we have our Philip Michael Johnson, and Professor Michael Johnson, who is uh, head of our department of engineering sciences. Uh, you'll need much more interaction to him because you know him. Uh, then we have uh, Professor Shili San, uh, head of our division of uh, solid state electronics. Then we have uh, Associate Professor Umen Varghis. So he's from polymer chemistry here from Ostrom, and then Associate Professor Molly Yetman from the Division of Electricity. Right, so um, just a brief overview of the agenda. Okay, you might all have read the summary, I will not go through that, but this is our agenda. So the agenda is like this. So we will start with a short video where you can see in a summary what has happened in Kerala. And then uh, there would be introduction of one panelist, that in some way I have done that already, but uh, I could elaborate that as well. Uh, then report on the event of natural calamity and its extent. So I will do a report where you could see the, the figures and facts about uh, the calamity, what was the gravity of this, this event. Then we will open the session for discussion to our panelists and then we will invite them to join here to start the discussions. And then we will have a short lunch break at 2 o'clock. Uh, we hold a sandwich and hopefully they would be on time. And then the session two would be opening the discussion to the Malayali diaspora. So Malayali diaspora is people from Kerala who are assembled here. So the panel could discuss with them. So there are some people who have been uh, like experienced uh, the, uh, this thing per se. So you could also discuss them like what was their experience and what they think about. And then it's also open to the general public from Ongström and uh, uh, outside Ongström. Then Dr. Mauricio Perez, he will conclude the session with, uh, um, with a discussion on the, the role of citizen science in general, which could be applied to natural calamities as well. Okay, so we start with this video.
ಬದಲಿ
don't know how many of you know know about Kerala. Kerala is uh, in uh, the country in 